Hi, my name is Joel. I'm from the United States and I'm an English teacher. Today, I want to talk to you about five simple ways to help you learn English. If you're listening to this video, your English is probably decent. Maybe you already can speak okay or even good. That's great. You can still use these ideas to improve your English. Um, first, I would like to recommend that you take a class if possible or go to a website that teaches English grammar. Um, I don't think that grammar is the most important thing. I think that practicing is more important, but grammar is still very helpful for helping you to understand the language. And so that's why I would recommend taking a class if possible or at least reading articles about English grammar to help you get a good foundation of the language. Next, I would suggest finding pen pals. Pen pals are people who probably live in a different country than you that you can send emails to. You can write them in English and they can write you back in whatever your native language is. That is, if they're trying to learn your language. Let's say you speak Spanish and they want to learn Spanish. They can write you in Spanish and you write them in English and you can correct each other. That way you both will improve. It's a great way to improve your English and also to meet people from other countries. Uh, next, watch TV in English. Um, this is a great way to improve your vocabulary and improve your listening. And it's pretty fun. Um, the most popular movies around the world are made in the United States, in Hollywood, and they're in English. If you need to, you can have subtitles in your own language, or you can just listen to it in English. Um, I would suggest always having a notebook or a piece of paper with you so you can write down new words that you're learning or maybe words that you don't understand that you want to look up in the dictionary later on. And next, listen to music in English. Um, the most popular music around the world is in English. It's the same thing with movies. So you shouldn't have any problems finding music in English that you like. And you can look, the mu look up the lyrics on the internet so you can read and actually see what they're saying in the songs. And then finally, the most important thing, practice, practice, practice. You can lis listen to songs and music, you can study grammar, you can watch TV in English, but if you don't speak it yourself, you're not going to be able to learn it. You might improve your ability, to, your ability to understand English, but if you don't speak it, you're never going to improve your English to the next level so that you can speak it fluently. So speaking is very important. You can find um, websites where people will try to exchange uh, languages. Maybe you can help somebody with English. Well, excuse me, maybe somebody else can help you with English and you can help them with your native language. Spanish, French, German, depends where you're from. And finally, I want to offer my services. I sell English lessons on Skype, conversational English lessons. I'd love to meet you. During uh, my English lessons, um, I try to make it so you're speaking most of the time. And I'm going to type out the corrections that I think you need to make in a Word document and then I'll send it to you after the lesson so you can see all the corrections that you need to make so you can improve each lesson and start speaking more fluently. If you'd like to schedule a lesson with me I'll give you your first lesson for free up to 20 minutes long and um, you know I would, love, I would love to meet you and help you with your English. You can visit my website at worldenglishteacher.com or send me an email at worldenglishteacher at live.com. Thanks for watching my video. Good luck with your English.